Hi, my name is Haley Pitcairn. I am a sophomore student at the University of Kansas studying elementary education. Um, I'm in CNT 235, Multicultural Education, and I did my fieldwork experience at Highland Park High School in Topeka, Kansas. Um, the culture of the school was very what I expected it to be. It was very diverse. Um, white kids were probably the minority in it. Um, one thing that was very interesting when we first pulled up to the school, we saw like a playground type thing that was like enclosed, but it was like little baby slides and little baby toys. And we were very confused. We were like, hmm, this is a high school. Why is there a playground? And we soon learned that they had a daycare inside of the high school. Um, primarily because there were a lot of teenage girls at the school who had gotten pregnant and had kids and the only way to keep them in school was to provide a daycare so I didn't personally get to check the daycare portion out but it was very interesting to me and I thought it was kind of a interesting way to make sure that those girls that don't have maybe the best family life and this did happen to them or just like a mistake um, they did have the opportunity to still have a place for their child to go while they could still stay in high school and possibly proceed on further their education um, but it was it wasn't as um, bracy as I thought um, there was definitely it the like I said, the minorities were definitely white students, but I mean, with gender, I mean, in the class I was in, it seemed to be pretty equal. Um, social class, I definitely was probably, it wasn't, I wouldn't say, like, super low, terrible social class, but I would definitely, it wasn't quite middle class, probably in the middle. There was probably some students that I didn't see that could have been a little bit higher up, but Predominantly, it was lower class, um, but the classroom we were in, I was in a social studies classroom. Um, the principal first greeted us off, very friendly, very nice. Um, she took us on a tour of the school, and she dropped each like group off in the class that they wanted to um, shadow in, and I myself was in a social studies class, and at first I was kind of bummed because I thought we weren't going to get a good experience because when we first walked in they were like taking a quiz and I was like oh great we're going to be stuck just sitting here not even getting a great experience but they were taking a quiz and it only lasted about the first 10 minutes of class once they were finished with the quiz they did a grading system where they passed the quiz back to the person sitting behind them and graded it that way and by hap by chance I was sitting behind a girl and when she got her quiz back it was probably only out of like 14 or 15 questions not very many and it said like minus 10 at the top and so I was kind of concerned I was like is this the teacher or is this the student but as we sat in class a little bit longer after the quiz he put a video on and it was about like Hitler and the Holocaust very interesting video and I soon learned that I thought it was maybe the girl not excelling herself because during the video she was on her phone not paying any attention when a lot of the other students were very engaged in the video. I myself was. I didn't really want it to end because it was so interesting. So that kind of made it click that this isn't the teacher's doing, this is your doing in this case. So it was kind of interesting to see that. but. For the most part, the teacher that we were in, he seemed really awesome. He, right before the bell rang, he let the class know that that was the last day for um, quarter three work, that he wasn't accepting it anymore, what was due on Monday, what was going to be due after spring break. He really gave them an outline of what was coming up, and I thought that was very interesting and like a great role as a teacher. One thing I um, thought was also very interesting was after class was over, he pulled me and the other girl I was with aside and said that there was like a few um, juniors and uh, 
sophomores in the class because it was predominantly a freshman it was a freshman course class and he said yeah there's just these few students who have taken this like two or three times and can't pass it and I literally do everything I can to get them engaged focused wanting to succeed and there's just he said there's always going to be those students no matter what school you're in so at first I kind of thought maybe it's like the school setting we're in but as I sat in the class it just was like this teacher knows what he's doing he's a seems like a good teacher he cares about the kids he cares about their education so there are the always going to be those few kids who just don't care and aren't going to care as much as you try as much as you try is what he basically told us so something to keep aware of um I felt very comfortable at the school for the most part we did get to go into like this social studies teacher like conference it wasn't a conference it was just like a meeting they do every week and they talked about like dbq testing for all of the students and how their test scores were like super low and ways that they could improve that and they had a lady come in who i guess comes regularly like a few times a year and meets with them and tells them ways that they can improve these test scores, other ways to reflect their learning. And she was, we got lucky enough to see her when she was there and it was very interesting because you could tell that she really wanted to help these teachers succeed in teaching these kids who aren't testing well or the kids who don't care. So it was kind of cool to see all the teachers in one setting and really kind of engaging with each other and their disagreements, agreements. But I thought that was kind of cool that we got to sit in on that. And then I thought academic success was pretty, I mean, it was clear that there was definitely those students who didn't care, didn't want to be there. But for the most part, I mean, the teacher, we didn't get to sit in on that much. But the teacher said that these students care. Most of them are athletes so they want to do well so they can participate in these athletics after school but we also did get to sit in on an avid class and it was kind of interesting because the teacher was a little bit younger and they did have eighth graders shadowing for the day from a middle school and I was kind of thrown off guard because you would think when you have kids who are coming to the school shadowing you would want to set a good example and the teacher he was kind of just making side conversation wasn't staying focused on his, what he thought was his lesson plan he did have articles printed out but once they were done reading them and started talking about them again he it would always end up in some side conversation so he that classroom was a little I think the teacher could have used more structure and I think the students, since they didn't really have a good example to be defined by, they were just going with it. So you can't really blame the students when the teacher's initiating the wrong behavior. But other than that, I mean, I thought the school was a really awesome experience. It definitely opened my eyes because even though I want to be elementary, um, the high school really was kind of like I like could definitely see myself wanting to teach in maybe like a lower um, class school with who the because you can tell those kids really did care and they did want to exceed but I also have to take into consideration when you're younger you if you are raised in a lower class background you it's not as easy to read kids always and what's going on in their outside of school life opposed to high school kids when you can straight up tell if something's going on at home with their attitude or whatever so I mean I thought it was a great experience and I will definitely take into consideration because even at high class private schools or whatever there's going to be those students who are either forced they're going there by their parents or just still do not care so it was a good lesson completely overall but there are things that I saw that I would need to look at myself when I want to be a teacher and say remember when you went to Highland Park and that teacher was doing that that's something you need to stay away from and 
oh, this teacher told me this and I need to focus on that so I can be successful. But overall, I thought Highland Park was an awesome school. I would definitely recommend looking into it for field work and giving people the opportunity to go back to this school because they were super friendly. You could tell they wanted the best for their students and the students were there to get an education for the most part. So, yeah. Thank you.